This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the truth to the free peoples of the world. Interviewed in London on his return from Italy to assume supreme command of Allied forces for the Second Front, General Dwight D. Eisenhower. In taking up the new duties assigned me by the Combined Chiefs of Staff, I am highly gratified that my command is still an Allied one. For me, one of the great inspirations of this war has been the goodwill with which soldiers, sailors, and airmen of differing nationalities have combined their efforts for the, for the accomplishment of a common object. I am certain that both British and Americans in the Mediterranean and in the United Kingdom have for each other a common respect and esteem that is certain to spell the ultimate defeat of the Axis. The past year has seen a tremendous advance in our progress toward final victory. In the Mediterranean, all ranks have fought with exemplary fortitude, courage, and effectiveness. In the United Kingdom, our navies and our air forces have been delivering blows against the enemy that are gradually weakening his combat effectiveness. On the Russian front, the great and gallant Red Army have made tremendous inroads against the Nazi. In effect, the stage is being set for the beginning of the great and crucial test all over the world. I have complete confidence that the soldiers, sailors, and airmen, and all the civil populations of the United Nations will demonstrate once and for all that an aroused democracy is the most formidable fighting machine that can be devised. 